What's up, Vanguard people? This is Zach Zach here, and I have an official shop or regional qualifier update for you all. Um, if you guys saw my update or my uh, second road trip video for my trip to the encounter in Allentown, Pennsylvania, you'll know that my, my team and I qualified for regional. So, yes, we got a new button. Take a look at that. It looks exactly the same as the old button. If we're going to the shop qualifiers, or the regional qualifiers, excuse me, we got a new box. I think this box actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, maybe it's just that uh, I like purple. Who knows? But that's also sweet. And, of course, the paperwork that comes with going in first place. I guess you have to file that you we can't sue Bushy Road for... Uh, dying or like the we're, we can't hold them responsible for anything bad that might happen to us which I guess is standard for events of this nature and of course the tax form if you guys were curious about how all of this workings of paid hotel or whatever comes with but uh, for the for those who are curious my team did not run the meta per se so uh, the decks consisted of spike brothers for me no grapplers for my buddy Sean that's our Kaiser build. And my friend uh, Nick was running Alfred Beats. So that was four Alfreds, four Palamedes, no MLB. So we ran decks that weren't cross rides or weren't considered the best. We ran decks that we like to play. So I'm hoping this helps to translate people. Play the decks you want to play, not the decks that people tell you to play. Just because the end is great. In a team format especially, there's only one the end. You're only going to see one of them. And if you're so convinced that the end is almighty and all-powerful, you can eat that loss if you want. But you have two teammates with decks that have a good chance of winning as you do. And in the end, you only need to win two out of the three matches on your team. So you guys can lose one every time, but win two out of the three, and you'll still move on. And from our team, that was still possible without using the meta decks. So I hope that's an encouragement to all my subscribers out there who are wondering, man, I gotta play DOT, -E, I gotta play MLB, I gotta play Spectral Duke. You can play whatever deck you want, as long as you like playing it, you're comfortable playing it. And personally, my teammates thought those decks gave them the best chance of winning. So I mean, that's the most important thing I can say for the decks that we chose at our regional competition. But uh, a second note that I definitely want to hit on was. I guess the atmosphere of the regional qualifiers. Um, there were a couple instances where I want to say unsportsmanlike conduct because I guess there was one case I wasn't overly familiar with it because my back was turned. But there were two teams pretty much going at it, arguing with each other. I don't know with about what, but they start. I think they start swearing at each other, and that's not something this game needs. And if you're playing this game and you're getting heated like that, I want you to take a step back, breathe, and just remember, you're here to play play this game for fun. You're not playing this. Bushy Road's not giving you some cash prize. They're giving you a chance for first to go play cards for fun, for no prize again. You get a trophy, but you get the experience, and you get to have fun, especially in the team format, with your friends. So please hold on to this idea that you're playing with your friends for fun for a card game that's free. You don't even have to pay to enter this tournament. So I don't want to see people going there accusing each other of cheating, which happened to me, which I don't understand because there's this individual who I encountered at the shop, shop qualifiers, and one of the first comments this individual said to me was, oh, why are you double-sleeving, double-sleeving, people who cheat double-sleeve? Well, I, first, I, did, I thought I misheard him. That... Then I heard my friend, he also received the same comment from him later on. Then I encountered this individual again during team tournaments. Um, my buddy Isaac is on his team. And Isaac, I love you, Isaac. But this individual, I cannot tolerate. And the moment he sat down to play against me, he said, only, only, che only cheaters double sleeve. And I was on borderline losing it. And so, I shrugged it off initially. Me and my buddy Sean were shuffling each other's decks because we've been having terrible luck all day. Great stuck. I got great stuck twice. But my teammates won, and then they would get great stuck, and then two other people, me or the other guy would win. 
So he was like, judge, judge, double sleeve. I don't appreciate this. I'm like, look, dude, you have a bad attitude. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate being called a cheater. I don't understand what your big deal is here. Luckily, his two teammates were pretty cool. I don't know if the Blaster Blade guy from New York, which I think is a pretty sweet deck. He play, He's playing a Blaster Blade deck, that, the cards that he loves. And my buddy Isaac, he's playing the cards that he likes. But this one guy just, he gets on me for almost nothing. It's just his poor attitude for the game. But I want to make sure that me and my buddies, we cool down and we you take it professionally. I mean, even if someone says these comments to you, you treat it like the treat the person with respect. Off your hand out, I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. And your name is. You try to be professional about it. You try to be courteous. Because this is not a game where you start yelling at other people because they're trying to have fun. And you don't want to influence other people who are trying to get in the game. So, I mean, even issues where you get double triggered, people are double triggering you. If the people who are playing in these tournaments should know full well that double triggers happen. You can be a little bit salty. I'll let you be salty. I won't hold you hold that against you. But it happens. Don't get all up about them. Don't tell them they shouldn't have deserved that win. Maybe you should have guarded extra on their vanguard. Who knows? But I mean, this is a card game. Have fun. Enjoy it. And thanks to whoever, like Tabushi, for creating this game and letting us play this in tournaments for free and flying out first place teams to go play with other teams from across the country, hopefully meeting other YouTubers like Night Flux. I can't wait to meet you in person. I hope uh, we might do some video when we're out in LA. But I want the message to get across. It's a game. Have fun with it. Respect each other. And that, I mean, that should go without saying, but that's what I expect from people when I go to nationals as well. So thanks for watching, Vanguard people. And if you're going to Nationals and you're one of my subscribers, leave a note below because I would want, I definitely want to meet you. I'm going to try and make t-shirts to say like Vanguard people and maybe like a jersey in the back, Zag Zag, one, the two for, to my other teammate and three for the three C. But thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in LA if you're going.